Hey everyone, Mortgage Nerd here, coming at you today with our rate update. I want to talk to you a little bit about why rates are back on the uptrend. It's going slow, we can still refinance people, but I'm going to show you the stats. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So today is November 13th, and let's go straight into the charts. So today's good, mortgage bonds up, treasuries down, but we had this huge drop, really bad day last week. I had a video out, we're coming back up. You know, there's this constant up and down, but you see that this is the lowest point in rates that we've had in years. We hit it close to it again, a little bit closer, but we're not quite getting there. This is another subscription that I have. Uh, and what this shows, these are the treasuries. So it's opposite what we were just looking at with the mortgage bonds. These are the treasuries. They kind of follow. When the treasuries are low, the interest rates are low. So this is the lowest point we hit. You saw the same with the mortgage bonds when it was at the highest. And then we couldn't get all the way back down, couldn't get all the way back down. Uh, but you see what this is, is you see this consolidation. The trend is upward. So linear regression line, as it says here, one massive correction to the massive August rally. This is the August rally of rates dropping hard. And we've had a refinance boom in the last three months because of that. Always, there's never, it can never stay down. It can never stay all the way up. Just like the stock market is all the way up right now. It's not going to stay there. It's going to come back down. There's going to be always that ebb and flow, that up and down. It's, it's physics. And physics actually goes through with this, with numbers and, and markets. Uh, Fibonacci levels, it's an architecture, it's just a way of the world, way of the universe actually, mathematics. All right, so this is another program that I have and what it's showing you is the trend in the rates going up. And not so much the trend, that's what it's showing now, but let's go back in history. Let's look at 2016 when rates hit their lowest point and then how they started to come up. And then back in 2012, 2013, the same thing. So there's there's patterns that we look at when we see all of this and you know of course we don't want it to be we want the rates to always stay low but you just can't so this is showing you how we're hitting a, another point in history like these other ones where rates are going back up any positive news the trade deal finally comes through brexit finally comes through all of those things and we could be looking at rates rising in early 2020 until we start getting bad news again, until whenever the recession comes, that it's gonna come at some point, when that recession hits or starts to come and there's more bad news, then we're gonna see the rates come back down. So that's really the, the point that I wanted to make today is to show you that we kind of are maybe entering a rising interest rate environment. We might have some more reprieves where they come back down, but for the most part, we need to plan as if they're gonna to continue to go up and there's always gonna be that up and down but it's upward bound is what it seems to be now. Thank you very much. Mortgage Nerd out.